Sup Gooners. It's a pretty much the VTuber drama right now. And I'm going to explain it. Um, pretty much, there is this VTuber named Bub and her friend caught and called out for harassing a small Twitch streamer by being racist and harassing them live on stream. Um, they, you know, calling him, uh, oh, he looks like a white man. Oh, it's a privileged white man. And, you know, another person saying, oh, his dick's probably small, which I don't think is professional at all. If you are two partnered Twitch streamers that are also making fun of him, not being comfortable with the situation, making fun of him because he's not partnered and having, you know, only so many viewers. Um, I'll show up the clip right now. Hours and they're streaming this gameplay, bro. I'm so sure nobody is gonna get entertained by this shit. They're a streamer? Yep. I'm gonna go annoy them. <laughs> of course he's a white man. The map one gen was 99. The pure <laughs> amount of viewers and <laughs> streaming so and you're shit, like bro. this man. I did not hump a single- I'm gonna close their tab. It's not fun. This guy is whining like a little bitch and does not want to admit anything they're doing. It's That's got small some dick behavior. It's okay. It happens. That's why you only have 18 viewers. Yeah, true. It's uh, two partner streamers in in a single chat. It's too much for him to handle, unfortunately. You open his stream, and the first thing you say is like, "Oh, of course, it's a white guy." <laughs> I'm like, <"What?" laughs> "Dumbo fucking looking white man." Oh boy. <laughs> like it wasn't racist. I just. Uh. You know, he looks very privileged, and he uses the way he talks tells a lot about how much privilege he has. What? But I think it's really pathetic in my mind, and um, pretty much they're doing the same thing that people that always get called out do, taking a few days off. You know, she's taking a few days off. You know, you know she's not a drama frog yet. She, can't be a drama frog if you're the main cause of the drama and then people calling out pretty much saying that she's trying to downplay the harassment and racist remarks that she and her friend and i'm probably gonna mess this up anton desu caused towards a smaller streamer due to them losing a match in dead by daylight <sighs> i always see drama with the vtuber like community and sent like these fucking shit stains always seem to make it worse and i'm i feel bad because there's a lot of good ones like Iron Mouse and some other smaller ones that I also like, you know, I, I occasionally do watch. But this, this is just pathetic. She apologized in this one, which, you know, should have done before. But again, it's not exactly sincere here. I want to start off by sincerely apologizing to Nap Nide. As a streamer and the one broadcasting the content, I am responsible for the guests I invite to my broadcast. And of course, for the way I react to what is being said, be it idle. Going along with it or taking appropriate measures to prevent or stop a harmful situation. The insult I referred to you as was uncalled for and in the heat of the moment of the accumulated frustration from previous matches that I ended up wrongly taking out on you. The only reason I didn't call it sincere is it should have been the very- it should have been the first thing that she did. It shouldn't have taken this long to- for like for this to happen. And during my research, I found her original tweet alongside her friend uh, Anne Desu. Um, pretty much, here's her uh, original tweet during the situation when she originally got banned on Twitch. I got banned on Twitch for seven days for things I did not do. A small Dead by Daylight streamer uh, got very hostile towards me and my friends who were playing against him and he nitpicked lines and made it all that I said it. Stop the cap! Uh, I don't- that, that wording doesn't make sense. Um, I'm with family right now, I will appeal and get more into this later. One out of two. And then the person who- uh, a person pretty much, you know, replied to it saying uh, you deserve to be banned you and anton desu are both twitch partners and you along with your friends shamed a streamer with 700 followers because you lost a match of dead by daylight you also pulled up his stream while live and harassed him in chat pathetic and obviously yeah here's the um here's the the clip obviously she said she's sorry you know this is you know her apology which is i don't get because then also there was other like tweets that she posted pretty much saying totally unfair to see twitch uh, support siding with someone who is lying about everything and still getting punished for speaking back free my girl all she's all i have what the fuck and then here's this one right here uh totally not deserved one idiot encouraged his viewers to mass report her for a game is such a joke um that joke was harassing and making racist remarks which i'm pretty sure is against twitch guidelines obviously there's still people calling uh everyone out on like 
you know, the apologies and such that should have happened initially. And instead of trying to play the victim, such as here getting called out yet again. But also I found the streamer that was getting bullied, uh, Napnide, um, which you guys 100% should check out. And this is his uh, response. Sorry for, I don't know why that X is there. Giving my two notes about this, since I am again getting messages, follows and join requests of your viewers in my server. I just want to be left alone. Just like I wanted to be left alone then. Victimizing yourself and twisting the truth here is not doing any good. At the end of the day, you came to my stream while viewing it in yours, when I said good game well played and told that you guys were very good at the game and gave me quite a tough match. Your co-streamers also mentioned that they want to come and annoy me in your live stream beforehand. You quickly joined her in my chat with malicious intents. Your co-streamers mentioned that I should get shot hours after matching up with me while you hyped her. All this just because you lost in a video game. Your POV and all the stuff I mentioned was sent to Twitch. You cutting these parts out of it and resending them to Twitch doesn't change anything. I would suggest you to take the 7-day ban and try to remember good etiquette next time you are streaming without making fun of smaller streamers and their skin color, accent, penis size, how they look, nor come to their chat to shame them for just starting out in Twitch. Do better. All the best. Nap. P.S. Feel free to watch my POV of the match and see for yourself how polite I was during the whole time. It is just a video game. Nothing justifies your behavior here. Pretty much don't... That's not how Twitch creators should act, how anyone should act. You never shame someone for who's lower than you because they were once there as well. Um, uh, good news is during that whole situation, Napnide actually went from over 700 followers to 1.5 thousand followers. Uh, I have a picture here from Spooken Jukes. Spook Spooken Jukes. Now Napnide is now streaming to 264 people on Twitch. That's huge. Uh, VTubers, um, I, obviously it's not, these two VTubers should definitely learn from their mistakes because it, this shit shouldn't shouldn't happen but i do i do hope like hope this shit never happens again and I'll, I'll keep you guys updated if anything else happens